In this tutorial, we will see how to describe various processes on a psychrometric chart. After we have identified a process, we can then go ahead and obtain values of properties of air and water vapor mixtures to solve problems. First, let's look at air heating process. This process is described as a horizontal line on the psychrometric chart. Note that during heating, the dry bulb temperature of the air increases, as shown here, while the humidity ratio remains constant throughout that process. The uh, air cooling process is the opposite of heating. Here, there is a decrease in the dry bulb temperature. The humidity ratio again remains constant. In air humidification process described by a vertical line, the humidity of the air increases, so the humidity ratio increases, but dry bulb temperature remains constant. In the dehumidification process described by a vertical line, the humidity ratio decreases. And again note that the dry bulb temperature remains constant. In adiabatic saturation, the enthalpy remains constant, so we follow the constant enthalpy line. So let's look at some animations. In case of heating of air from 30 degrees C dry bulb temperature and 20 degrees C wet bulb temperature, we identify a point and then follow a horizontal line to the final exit air temperature of 90 degrees Celsius. Thus we have identified the, the horizontal line and the initial and exit conditions for the heating process. Let's look at adiabatic saturation. Inlet air at 80 degrees C and wet bulb temperature of 30 degrees C. Exit air is at 40 degrees. We identify a point with dry bulb temperature of 80 C and 30 degrees C wet bulb, then follow the constant enthalpy line to the 40 degrees C dry bulb temperature. So thus we have identified again a process with the inlet conditions 80 degrees C dry bulb, 30 degrees C wet bulb going down uh, to a lower uh, dry bulb temperature at 40 degrees C. So this is the way that you describe various processes uh, in terms of heating, cooling, humidification, dehumidification uh, by identifying uh, the points uh, on the chart and then reading the values of various properties. Uh, you can also make some calculations that you can see in solved examples in the textbook.